My name is Caitlin Bennett, and I'm the most hated conservative woman on the internet. Because he was so bothered, and women are clapping for him. This woman is clapping for a grown man jogging very femininely, but a grown man was so bothered, pointed at me, said, what is this? Natural selection is gonna go down the toilet right here. We're gonna end up with very soy-infused jeans with men. They're gonna be very feminine, and they're not gonna be able to protect women like that sir drop. Don't touch my Why? stuff, no. Why would you do that to a Native American? She is Native I'm actually Native American. So don't oppress me. What is dressing up as a Native American to you? I'm Elizabeth Warren. You're Elizabeth Warren, yes. the Democratic so frontrunner you, for the candidacy. So your version of dressing up as a Native American is to put feathers in your hair, braid your hair, and wear that. Yes. You understand that you're disturbing people, correct? I'm not disturbing you anybody. Are, are you sure about that? Can I, I tell me, you something no, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something right now. Well, I I've got the, the funny camera support. on too. What do you think, Justin? I think it's a sad state of affairs that these people can come out, bully you, harass you, shove you. We have it all on footage. All we came to do was come here and ask people very simple questions, and then we're the ones that have the. This is my bestie. She goes everywhere with me. control. I'm not even telling them to do it and they're doing everything I'm thinking you guys are doing. Mind control. I don't even have to tell them to do it and they do everything I think. You are free to be on your way. You're being so disrespectful to me and you I've been nothing but be supportive of way. you. You are free to be a on your way. A lot of people here hate you because you're a cop. I, I support you. I don't care what you. anyone thinks about uh, me. I am a victim of disorderly conduct. What's that? We have, I have video been... for being assaulted. Okay. Would they... you like me to make a report about you being assaulted? Shut up. Does Michael have the footage on there? I don't know if he has the footage. I'm not Welcome to the Caitlin Bennett Files. This is somebody who I've never uttered their name on this channel before. In the last few years, this individual has created quite a stir, a large controversy of doing very insensitive, inappropriate, downright stupid things on the internet. If you've ever been eager to see top tier cringe, well today, that will be served to you on a plate. You see, Caitlin Bennett is no ordinary blonde. She's an evangelical who thinks that she has an IQ of over a thousand because she asks very engaging, deep, unanswerable questions. She has a channel called Liberty Hangout with over 600,000 subscribers, but if you sift through her content, boy will you see a lot of things. She made a dedicated video on the rest in peace of Roe versus Wade. I'm no longer an atheist, my journey to faith. But here's the thing, whether you are liberal, whether you're Republican, at the end of the day, I don't really care. Red, blue, but depending on how you go about spreading your message, your beliefs, that's the only time that I'm ever going to really raise my eyebrow, question your intentions, and say, and maybe even respond on why you're wrong. I love the belief of having civil dialogue with anybody and talking about anything. Caitlin Bennett, however. Hi, sweetie. Hi. So right there, that's all you should have heard and seen, but unfortunately, Caitlin Bennett always has to go the extra mile to do things that just normal people just would never think to do. She has this way of like trying to patronize and antagonize people that she talks to. And in this particular case, she walks up to a father holding his hand, daughter's hand and acts all nice and sweet, following it up with a very inappropriate question that no child should be even asked at that age. Do you know what the number one cause of death in the United States is? It's abortion. No, actually, I... It's abortion. Shay, you have a right to one. I wish I knew who that father was because his response that you have a right to one, even if you, no matter what your personal beliefs are, if you are against abortion for abortion, you can have your personal beliefs, but at the end of the day, everybody should have a choice what they want to do with their own body. The father's response is father of the year award. <laughs> abortion is murder. I'll abort you after. You abor abort me after term? Yes, yeah, like late term abortion. You. Stop sticking your nose in people's other business where it doesn't belong and has no influence on you personally. You see here, Caitlin Bennett thrives on this type of interaction. She thrives on trying to invoke the, the, the angriest type of response by being the most intentionally offensive. Not just, this isn't like a satirical joke. This is something that she really does. She goes right up to people and says the most terrible things that you to someone to invoke an outrage and then when they do react by saying something absolutely deplorable she's like look 
Look at the liberals. Look at these guys. Look at these women. Look at these they thems. Look at these trans people. Look, 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 look. I invoked absolute rage by going up and to, up to somebody and saying things like this. All right, all right. I'm sorry. I'll tone it down a little bit. I'm getting a little bit worked up. I don't like Caitlyn Bennett if you don't already know. So for those of you who don't know, Caitlyn Bennett's career or her popularity exploded in the last few years due to the fact that she did something that really no students have ever. Oh, look at that fuzz. It is almost boiled right over. What exploded Caitlyn Bennett in popularity was her, after graduating from university, walking on campus with this infamous photo. This went viral everywhere. Facebook, Twitter. She earned the reputation known as the gun girl. Now on the service level, I don't really have an issue of people having firearms in general. I don't care if you have a concealed permit. I don't care if you wear a pistol on the side of your belt. But one of the things that really drives me insane and it makes me really despise Caitlin Bennett is she's, these, she's the type of person to really thrust things into your face. My question is always, why? Why do you need to walk into a McDonald's with an M16 strapped to your back? What purpose is that serving other than to aggressively like show off that you have a rifle. And look, I love guns. I'm a gun owner myself. I own several firearms. I support a, r a person's right to bear arms, open carry, conceal carry. I support those things. But there's a point where if you're walking around with a, you know, <laughs> A gigantic shotgun on your back and rifles on your back casually going to Walmart. I, I, I just, I'm like, why are you doing this? What are you trying to prove here other than you are a gun nut? Probably a little too extreme for me. And what a lot of people don't recognize, what a lot of people don't ever talk about, is that every facet of every ideology, of every, po every political aspect of everything, there is a form of extremism. And whether that be guns, whether that be abortion, whether that be political, extremism is bad Always. You can always take things too far. And Caitlin happens to be one of those people who not only takes the gun rights stuff, in my personal opinion, way too far, but she goes the step further in antagonizing and aggressively attacking people. Two years ago, she made a video on her channel that went semi-viral on college students have no morals. Now, personally, I think that's a little bit of a heavy title. College students have no morals. Now, naturally, you're going to ask yourself, well, what, the, what what's the topic of? You know, she's going out to these universities. She's trying to interview people. She's trying to have a quote-unquote civil conversation. You see, Caitlin Bennett spews that she is an advocate for people being able to voice their opinions and have freedom of speech. However, if you go to her YouTube channel right now and you even go to some of these more viral videos, you're going to find that number one, the likes and dislike ratios are disabled. Go figure. But the best part of all is that the comment sections of these videos that went viral are disabled. Hmm, gee, I wonder why. So much for having an open conversation because comment limiting people's ability to comment on the video that you posted on your channel, that doesn't make you look like you're trying to censor people's freedom of speech. Now, look, it is her YouTube channel. She can do whatever she wants with it. I support that, whatever. But the point being is if you're going to become out as an advocate by saying freedom of speech, I support people having a different opinion than me, you probably should have one of your most controversial videos you should have the comments enabled to some extent. Because this really, at the end of the day, makes you look like a hypocrite. What do you think about starting an initiative on campus here at UK to be more inclusive to women who have penises and we can put urinals in the women's restroom for them? Sounds fantastic. Oh, does it? Yeah. Okay. What about, let's take it one step close, you know, more for inclusivity here on campus and put free tampons and pads in the men's restroom for men who have periods. Sounds great. Okay. Mm -hmm. You'll see anything wrong with those statements? No. Mm -hmm. What men do I mean, you know like with periods? General use ones like in Willie T have pads. I use them pretty often. So first things first, I have interacted and I have spoken to trans people before and I have never heard and I'm not saying this doesn't exist, but I've never heard of a trans person demanding that there be urinals in actual bathrooms. Uh, for them. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. It does hasn't happened, but I've just never heard a trans person say like, you know, I need to be represented through a urinal in the bathroom. But at the end of the day, I don't really care at the, it, how, who is that affecting? But you notice the question that she asked, do you see anything wrong with having pads in the male restroom? And this is personally, no, I don't. But you know what I do see? If I walk into a male restroom and I see that there are some free tampons or pads, guess what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to take those for 
my kids. Because guess what? When you have daughters, they are going to have periods. And guess what? In inflation, in, in an inflated economy right now, tampons are crazy, crazy expensive. At least here, Walgreens, I just was looking the other day, $30 for a small box. I think it was like 12 or 13, 15 tampons, $30. So you bet your jelly beans, I'm going to go into the mail restroom. I'm going to grab those pads and I'm going to bring them back home so they can be put to use. My question then stems is how does this affect you? Whether you are for or against uh, pads being in po put in both restrooms, how is this affecting your life? Why are you so angry over the fact that this is a thing in some schools? You know what I also think they should be doing in, in male restrooms at colleges? They should be supplying condoms. They should be supplying condoms for men. What's wrong with that? Or even female condoms. That, those are a thing. Put them in the restroom too. I'm all about like giving people free education and free resources and materials to prevent, you know, how let's have safe sex or let's uh, reduce pregnancy rates. Let's do whatever we can to make men and women to live a healthy life. And if that includes putting tampons in both restrooms, I'm all for it. I don't give a shit. Doesn't affect me. I'm going to save money. Voila, win-win. We're here today at the University of Kentucky to see if college kids think we should put tampons and pads in the men's restroom for men who have periods and urinals in the women's restrooms for women who have ding-dongs. Really? What is this, the 80s? Why do you have dubstep in your intro? Come on. What is up with this cringe music? Do you think we should put tampons in men's restrooms okay. for men who have periods? Men who have periods? What? what talking about like transgender people? What do you think about putting urinals in the women's restroom for women who have penises? Um, that's fine. If it makes them feel comfortable, I don't mind. Like, I don't, I don't really care about it. Are you willing to accept that women, some women do have penises? Yeah. I mean, I'm all for, like, people, I just want people to feel comfortable. Like, if they want to use the women's restroom, I have no problem with it. And she titles it, College Students Have No Morals. So, obviously, she's equating the fact that their answers mean that they have no sort of morality. Typical of evangelical Christian women and men to invoke that people have no morals if they do things that they otherwise disagree with. How loving and accepting. How tolerant. If you were to walk into the women's restroom and you saw a woman with a penis there using a urinal, would you be concerned or would you accept it and be inclusive? What would you do? Um, it's none of my business. So it's none of your business that a man no. is in the women's restroom. If they're in the women's restroom, then they identify as a woman. Oh. Who would have known men walking into... Okay, don't question anything about men walking into women's restrooms ever. They're just there because they're women. They're not, not predators, no. Oh, jeez. Caitlin, Caitlin, Caitlin. This is... Okay, we got to go back in my past. You see, I grew up Southern Baptist in the church, and this was one of the common myths, the lies, that I was taught growing up is that if somebody is trans, whether they go through the surgeries or not, if somebody is trans or they identify as a male or a female and they go into the opposite restroom, therefore, they are going to hurt the gender that's in the, ba in the restrooms. This was something I grew up with, is that men want to go into female restrooms, identify as being trans, just so they can do terrible assault people. This is insane. Now, I'm not saying it doesn't happen because it obviously people have done this regardless of whether identifying as trans or not. People, there are bad people. People are going to do things. People are going to be perverts. People are going to be creeps regardless of whether they identify as being trans or not. It's very, very damaging because what you're doing here is you're basically, basically saying that any sort of inclusivity to somebody who's trans therefore implies that they're a predator which to me is so ironic because my childhood being told that people who are trans or people who want to use the opposite you know restroom therefore are a danger to the opposite gender isn't it crazy that me being young and a teenager being told this shit at the same time the church itself whether that be catholic or any church for that matter or any ideology of religion <laughs> has some of the most prominent sexual abuse in the churches themselves, and yet they're telling me 
as a teen and young kid that, hey, if somebody's trans, therefore they're a predator. Like, the irony in that is just weird to me. And it doesn't matter if you're part of the LGBTQ plus or not. There are predators everywhere, regardless of whether you are religious or not, regardless of whether you are trans or not, regardless of whether you are gay or not. They exist, right? People can use communities, people can use groups of people and use that to their own advantage to prey on people. It exists universally in every aspect and facet of the world. And to contribute being trans or contribute being gay as you're a predator, which I, I honestly can't believe that there are people who still spew this sort of damaging rhetoric that, oh, if you're gay, you must uh, want to, you know, hurt little boys or hurt girls. This to me is just nothing but religious rhetoric meant to harm people. That's it. That's how I see it anyway. What do you think about putting urinals in women's restrooms for women who have penises and they just want to stand and pee? Um, I think people just making too big of a f deal about it. I don't really care. Naughty words. Okay, so we should or shouldn't? I mean, I don't really care. Okay, what about tampons and pads and men's restroom for men who have periods? If you're really getting that worked up about it, why does it matter? Like, I don't care. It's just sitting there. I'm not going to take it. Okay, so we should provide men with tampons. I mean, if a dude wants a tampon for some reason, he can have a tampon. That's not my business. What would he use it for? I don't know. That's his problem. What would he use a pad for? His problem. Do you think they should seek medical advice if they're having bleeding? I mean, if they want to, I don't really care. Why should I care? I don't know. I care about people. If they're you know, bleeding I, out of their penis, yeah, I would want to... I care about people's personal rights. They can do whatever they want. It's not, none of my business. What I love most about this video is that the 90% of them all in the original video, which is linked down below in the description if you want to watch it, they are saying what many of us are believe in like it's none of our business it doesn't really care why are you so worked up about this caitlin but you know something that caitlin bennett would absolutely hate that i'm promoting in this video my sponsor of today Vance Global. What you're looking at here are Vance Global's gummies they have three different types including th gummies they have cb D gummies, and then they also have Delta 8 gummies. These white ones are my personal favorite. They taste very yummy. Look at how cute this little thing is, right? So this is a CBD gummy. This actually does not make you go up to heaven, but it helps a lot with sleep and pain and joints, whatever it is. This gummy will solve it. Also, edibles are not your particular style of choice. They have three different types of smoke products, including TH smokes, CBD, which is my personal favorite, and then the Delta 8. These are absolutely pesticide-free, organic, and they have biodegradable filters, something that you will not get on most current brands. That said, if you use my discount code at checkout, go to vanceglobal.com and use code REPSION at checkout, you're gonna get 20% off all of your orders, gummies, smokes. And in addition, if you add Repsion 30 with the subscription plan and have these delivered to your house every week, every two weeks, every three weeks, every month, every two months, you'll get 30% off all of your orders. Allow me to curse you with the devil's lettuce. You will not regret it. Support the channel. Click the link. Do you remember me? We had class together that one time. We are freshmen. Mm -hmm. We had class together that one time. <laughs> Do you guys think we should be putting free pads and tampons in the men's restroom for men who have periods. Um, you know how they have those like things with condoms? You could just make one set of that and just put them in both bathrooms and then that really defeats the purpose. It's like, and it'd probably be easier to mass produce as well. Just like that one system instead of two. Now see, when Caitlin uploaded this video, the comment section originally I don't have it backed up, but the comment section originally and the like and dislike ratio when it both existed was astronomical. The video got a lot of hundreds upon thousands of comments, right? In this video, people were posting, Caitlin, you're wrong. You're posting video of students literally saying it's not my business what people do with their own body, what people, if people, if a man uses a tampon, if a woman uses it, it doesn't matter at the end of the day because who the fuck is it affecting? No one, right? She couldn't handle that. So that's why the comments are disabled is because she can't handle people actually responding, whether that be intelligently or even challenging her own belief system in regards to the things that she spews. She's very, very anti-gay marriage. I don't know if you guys know that, but Caitlin Bennett does not support 
a couple of two men getting married. This is your typical Bible thumper sort of, of, of nut wing, crazy guns, right activist extremist who wants to revoke people's rights, whether that be abortion, whether that be gay marriage, whether that be trans rights. Usually just, you don't care about kissing guys. It's just uh, like, okay. Nah, you? you clearly care a lot because it bothers you, but I don't, it doesn't it bother bothers you. me. Yeah, I really don't care. Why does it bother me if I want well, you to do so, it? It's such an uncomfortable situation. You obviously you no, want to. It's uncomfortable. I don't want you to kiss my fiance. That's what would no, make we're me uncomfortable. About kissing a man in general. It clearly bothers you. It doesn't bother me. I just think it's gross. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is all of the evidence you guys need to understand the brain of Caitlin Bennett. It doesn't bother me, but I find it gross. What? That may be one of the most contradictory, total opposite <laughs> statements anyone can make. If something doesn't bother you, then it wouldn't be gross. But the fact that you think two men kissing <laughs> is gross is evidence and proof that it bothers you. I don't know how more simplified this clip could be. And the fact of the matter is she posted this to her own YouTube channel. And that was and that is why Caitlin Bennett is such is 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 mocked and ridiculed and laughed at and scoffed at by so many people on the left and on the right. This is not you know she's super 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 conservative. I understand that, but I see both perspectives, both blue and red, always mocking and shitting on this girl because of how fucking stupid she is. The inability to simply recognize what you just said. I've said this in hundreds and hundreds of videos. Look. Freedom of speech does not mean that you have freedom of consequence for things that you say or do. In my last video I made, I talked a little bit about Kanye West and some of his, you know, anti-Semitic remarks and how he challenged Adidas and his Yeezys brand. And a lot of people were in the comments section saying, Daniel, Daniel, you're, I, I thought you were a pro-freedom of speech. Of course I'm pro-freedom of speech. I'm in the support of you can say whatever the hell that you goddamn want. But if you work for a company, right, any company for that matter, and you... I, I, let's say you work for Bill uh, Microsoft, right? And you have a social media presence for Microsoft. You are a reflective employee of that company. You have in your bio, Microsoft engineer, and you go on social media, you see a black person, you say, I fucking hate black people, or you put, I hate N words. Guess what? You're gonna get fired. <laughs> You're gonna get fired from Microsoft. That is not an issue of no freedom of speech. It's an issue of there are consequences for things that you say and do. And if you, as an audience or a viewer, can't acknowledge the fact that just because you have the freedom of speech to say it doesn't mean that there's not going to be consequence. Having a con consequences and freedom of speech are not mutually exclusive, right? They both work together. Say whatever you want, but if you work for a company, you're reflective of those, those values, those brands, and you say something totally opposite that is racist or sexist or transphobic or homophobic or whatever type of phobic shit that there is out there there, you're going to get fired. Stop being a fucking moron and associating the fact that when people get fired for doing stupid shit or saying stupid shit, it's there for a reason. No company, no business wants to be associated with somebody who's going around saying that they hate black people. It's that simple. Secondly, Caitlin Bennett, you can't go around and insult people and call them deranged and stupid, and then when people respond using the same sort of name calling than you, act like this fucking blonde ditzo fucking victim. That's what she does. In fact, to further prove how how dishonest and disingenuous this little cocksucker is. <sighs> Let's do this interview. This one is a priceless one where she asks this girl what she's doing for her career and then insults her and demeans her for her career despite her asking what she's into. Just an example, women's right to vote was something that many women were against. Yes, they were. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, what does that say? Here, we're going to get a little based right now. Uh, I don't, no, I'm not sure if women voting has been the best thing for our country. Really? Yes. Okay, I'm so sad to hear that. Because well, I feel the if we look opposite. at what women support, ever since women started voting, we have had more cities and more states turn blue. If you look at demographic trends and how they vote, women overwhelmingly support Democrats. And I think that's terrible. I don't want a Democrat uh, presidency. I don't want Democrats to win. I think Republicans, pro-lifers, people who support the Second Amendment, women usually come from a place of emotion rather than looking at things logically. Until 
totally disagree, and that's just mm -hmm. like that's okay. <laughs> the example of how you restrict women and just placing them in one category. Saying well, I'm generalizing. And not I'm generalizing. You asked me about which right, all of the rights. Right to education, to health care, to Those aren't extents. rights. No, but t yes, they are. Where? Everywhere. In declarations. I'm from Sweden once again. We have a, ha a whole other system. Well, and we're here you, in America. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. But I'm so sad to hear that, like a fellow woman saying these things. But well, however, I just, I support. I, I, wish you, I wish all the happiness and, and success I still to don't you. know what rights and I all, don't have. all the rights to you. What the actual... <laughs> What? How? Why? First of all, Caitlin, I want to know what statistic you're referencing in this, this, these numbers games. And like, well, statistically, more women are Democrats than Republican, or more women are this, or more women that. First of all, every single person, man, woman, trans, should have a right to vote. And the fact that you're getting on camera here and you're actually going up to women who are as or I think it was, inter what, International Women's Day or whatever it is on just representing, like, women having equal rights. You know, I'm not talking about, like, radical feminism or anything. Just in general, that women should have equal rights. And you're coming up to her and, and saying that women should not have the right to vote because more people voted for one per political side than you disagree with. You may be one of the most anti-women even though you claim that you're for women, but you're anti-woman by telling a woman that she doesn't have a right to vote. At the same time, you're also going around telling a woman this, who you ask for what they're pursuing in career and then demean them for their actual career choice. Leading to war crimes. Essentially, yes. By investing in companies like Lockheed Martin that are war profiteers, um, they're encouraging the behavior. Oh my gosh, it's kind of like Democrats and federal funding getting involved in Planned Parenthood. They're funding genocide. Um... I wouldn't say that because Planned Parenthood oh. saves the lives of a lot of pregnant women. Like, even if we don't look at abortion at all. Wow, Caitlin, that expression. Oh my God, wow. Like, actual, somebody's making an actual intelligent point. You're right. This girl's right. You know what she's right about? The fact is, Planned Parenthood is not just for exclusively abortions. It is for female biological functions, and they supply a plethora of different needs that women overall need for their bodies it is like if you just think that the only reason planned parenthood exists is just strictly for abortions you are an ignorant naive motherfucker and you've never actually walked into a planned parenthood you've never used a planned parenthood and you're fucking using one of those anti-abortionist little guidebooks that christians make which are real by the way i used to have one i wish i still had one so i could use it and show it to you guys but these little handouts of basically like oh planned parenthood does uh, is is uh, you know committing genocide for every single abortion that they use despite the fact that you know the women some women can't have the baby and if the baby does happen that woman can actually die from pregnant there's so many different things within the aspect of female pregnancy that people don't know about talk about uh that planned parenthood can help and fix and and utilize but one thing you'll never see about caitlin bennett is she'll never admit hey planned parenthood also offers services for men that's right they supply tests for men for stds wow who would have thought that a company can actually help you with your sexual history or your sexual whatever that you're doing male or female or trans they supply help the free resource and you're against that caitlin bennett in fact if you go to planned parenthood right now they have a bunch of different options that they help imagine being against men and women caitlin bennett because that's really what you're displaying here um i think that wasn't actually communism of course it wasn't and terminating babies isn't actually terminating babies um, you are wacky. You are really just disgusting, and I think it's really sad what you support. And you're sitting here laughing about it. That's sad. <laughs> this is my Twitter bio. Are you kidding me? I really hope. Can, I really hope this is in the video. But I'm. I love this. What's your name and major? Um, my name is Sophie. My, I'm engineering. Um, that's as far as I'll go in that. All right. Well, I'm sure that they have a quota there for uh, women engineers and feminists. Hopefully, you're as good as the guys. Usually, you're not. I'm but definitely not. Yeah. No. There's no way. No, I, I don't think so. Statistically, genetically, usually women aren't really good in that field. Man, Caitlin, it's almost like that you think that another woman is inferior to you because they chose a career choice that you think is designed for only and men exclusively. 
wow, it's almost like sexism can go both ways. You know, women can be sexist too, and Caitlyn Bennett it is a fantastic example. But most of all, you call this girl disgusting and attack her just for, like for no reason. And you talk about people not wanting to have a conversation with you. That's why. If you were to sit down and actually ask a question on why do you think this, or can you support your reasoning for why you th believe in this, and you just listen to what they have to say rather than demean them and call them disgusting for having an opposing perspective than you, then maybe you wouldn't have people protesting and throwing shit at you constantly at universities and schools that you attend. That's why. That's why you're hated. The fact that how you conduct yourself in these interviews, how you treat other women, how you treat and beg and antagonize the crowd intentionally to serve a reaction, and then when you get it, you play the professional blonde ditzy victim. Could you move back? Can you move up so you can't hear? They're not oh, using a microphone. You're causing a you're causing commotion. They're not using a microphone. Oh, I'm not. There. I'm and talking this way. You and I both know that when they're not using a microphone, it's hard to hear. You're causing a disturbance. Well, if it's if you're not using a microphone, it's hard to hear. How do you hear me? They can hear me, and I don't have a microphone. One right I do have in this country. I'm sorry. And so does she. She has a right not to speak to you as well. And you are disrespecting these people right now. Please, please take a step away because you're disrespectful right now. It's a women's march. I'm not being as loud as you are. Are you listening? Are you marching? How about you? Can you wait? Can you wait, sweetie, for a minute? Oh, I'm just standing here. She's yelling at me. I'm not being loud. I'm not trying to disrupt anything. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'm just standing here. Yeah. I'm not yelling. She said that she's boiling inside. I just have a difference of opinion. That's it. I'm just struggling to hear her, though. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I'm sure they would let you move up a little bit. Oh, Listen, you're sweetie, quiet. Please. Everyone can hear this. Oh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm quietly talking. I actually don't have a loud voice in general. Uh, so. I don't talk to her. Women's March, and she's telling women not to talk to me. All right. Trigger warning. Caitlin Bennett has arrived. I need a big trigger warning up here. Uh, Trump supporter has arrived. Trigger warning. I'm just here to cover this. I also want to know um, what the difference of this this march is rather than the one in January. Could you move over here, please? Are you moving people away from me? No. No. But I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you. Okay. Why would you be afraid of me? I'm a cute little girl. I'm not intimidated. Apparently she is afraid because she just ran away. You're doing damage to not only different communities, but you're spreading misinformation on women, on trans people, on same-sex couples, on abortion rights, on voting rights, on political statistics, on Democrats and Republicans. Like, you, you are so riddled with this information. I haven't even dug into her personal beliefs on vaccines. I'm afraid to even look into that so far, but this is not going to be the last time that I talk about Caitlyn Bennett on this channel. I assure you of this. But I want to challenge anybody who's watching this video right now is if you ever ever see Caitlyn Bennett in real life and she's walking around with a microphone, please make sure you have your phone at least concealed or something or maybe even record her and you're talking to her. And I want you to go up to this girl and I want you to ask her, did you poop yourself at that frat party? Because for those of you who don't know, where things get hilarious about Caitlyn Bennett, not that the fact that she's already stupid and listening to her talk with ignorance is already somewhat entertaining and hilarious, but the fact is there is an image of her laying at a frat party at a college and she shit herself, okay? This is alleged, obviously, but the image of the people who she attended the school with claim that it's her and she gets very, very angry and um, almost walks, there's clips of her walking away from people who bring this up about her pooping herself. I think there's one, I think there's one really important question and that's, did you shit yourself at a frat party? You know what? We, should we need more men like this guy. I love how she's like, hmm, why are you asking me that question? Well, Caitlin, why are you going up to every single person asking what somebody's major is, then insulting them and demeaning for their major or insulting them and calling them disgusting for their personal beliefs? The same could be asked for you. To finalize this video, this last clip is, is, is priceless. And yes, I know it's coming from Fox News. I don't like Fox News. I'm not a fan of Fox News, but this is just used as video documentation as evidence that this did in fact happen to carry uh, a gun on campus 
Uh, simply to express my Second Amendment right. Um, also, <laughs> I am the founder of a club <laughs> on, on Kent State campus, Liberty Hangout, and we were doing an event where we just opened a, a discussion to people to come talk to us about gun rights, and my cameraman got assaulted. If we had a firearm present on us, it open carried, I definitely believe that wouldn't have happened. What's the reaction been like? It's been crazy. Um, I was not expecting the blatant racism that's been thrown at me, <laughs> the right out death threats. Uh, just what the, kind of the racism? Calls, death threats. Uh, just what the, kind of the racism? <laughs> so they're saying that I have white privilege uh, for going out on campus with my AR-10. They are saying that this all has to do about uh, me being white, that I was able to do this. I think that's very insulting to minorities. I don't think that um, you know anything bad would happen to them. I actually had a black police officer with me the whole time that was just, he loved it. So, um, you know, it, it's just insulting. So you're carrying that AR-10 is because you had graduated the day before. Had you been a student, you would have, what, been arrested or gotten a talking to? Look, I'm not someone who uses the term white privilege very often, although there definitely, it definitely exists. I just don't use the terminology very often to describe situations. But in this context, a scenario of this, what we have here, there is. And what I mean by this is if a black man or a black woman walked onto campus with an M16 strapped to their back, I'm sorry, but there would be a, a uproar or people calling the, all calling the police saying, there was a black man or a black woman on campus with a fucking machine gun. Oh my, they, it would be an outcry. But because she's a white blonde, she can walk right up and waltz into a college with the strap to her back and... That right there, the reaction of how people would treat the same situation if it was a black man or woman, that shows that she has does have white privilege. In this particular case, she does. Absolutely. She's doing something that if another person did with this different skin color would never be allowed. Anyways, guys, that's it. This has been the Caitlin Bennett Files. I'm going to make another video on her. I'm letting you guys know, but this has been the Caitlin Bennett Files. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, you're a fucking bum with that lie shit, bro. No. Shit is sad. You're a sad fucking case. You might as well kill Kill him, not me. Everybody fuck Ripsy on. Some fucking shit, you gonna play Fortnite, you fucking coward. If you like video games, because I just uploaded a very, very 20 minute long, <laughs> hilarious video of me um, killing people with the riot shield in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I am very good at the game, and I like trolling people in video games and making people laugh and be entertained. And if gaming is your type of thing, check out my gaming channel. We're almost at 8,000 subscribers on that channel. If you like games, you're going to like the channel. I also live stream on there twice a week. So if you want to interact with me live, it's a great place to do that. Until next time, I will see you guys next week for another video. Thank you for watching.